Yo, Simply Better Crew, I just want to let you guys know that I opened up my own storefront over on Teespring, and I have a lot of merch. I have the Game Over shirt that you guys seen in the WWE 2K19 career episode that a lot of you loved and a lot of you wanted me to put up, so here it is. I also have the old goodies, that Simply Better Captain, and I also have the long-awaited Simply Better Punisher merch that people kept asking me for. We have it with text and skull, and we also have it with the skull itself, so you guys have options to choose from if you guys want to go ahead and pick up some Simply Better merch. You guys can go ahead and pick that up at teespring.com slash stores slash Simply Better Shop. The link is in the description so go check it out yo simply better crew welcome back to the career shenanigans guys SummerSlam was an absolute banger and the guy walking out right now walked away with the world heavyweight championship if y'all missed it definitely go check out SummerSlam because you will not be disappointed the match was a banger and at the end of the night due to Ric Flair's assistance Triple H won via pedigree off of the top rope and he is now a 15 time yes a 15 time world heavyweight champion that is wild that is wild man SummerSlam it, it, it was bonkers it was bonkers oh by the way y'all might be noticing something a little different something a little off with the Tron you know what I'm saying I decided to switch arenas I decided to freshen up the feel of my career shenanigans so out with the old raw arena and in with the new raw is war arena this arena is so dope shout out to the person who made it uh, i didn't peep the name on ps4 community creations but this is such a dope arena so thank you for this <laughs> this arena is banging man but triple h here to celebrate the world championship win at SummerSlam. The match was a brawl. And AM beat the hell out of Triple H. Triple H beat the hell out of AM. Triple H getting hit with so much. But in the end, like I said earlier, Triple H with an avalanche pedigree off of the top rope. And that was all she wrote for the man that is simply better than the rest. But I mean, A, hey, Triple H did have Ric Flair come out there and help him. Well, well, we shit. Actually, I don't even know. We, who knows? Who knows? I'm, just, hey, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm getting, I'm just getting told what I'm told, and you know, yeah. But anyway, Ric Flair came out there and helped Triple H, man, and you know, it's crazy. AM lost the World Heavyweight Title just like that. It was unexpected. So many people didn't think AM was about to lose that match to Triple H. AM had a lot of momentum going into that match with Triple H, but Triple H. You know, he, he walked away with a gold. That's all that matters. But Triple H looking to grab a mic and talk about his World Heavyweight Championship. Wait a minute, what? AM! Damn! Oh, my God. Oh, AM diving out of the ring at Triple H! Damn, Triple H was looking for a championship celebration. But Aaron Matthews was having absolutely none of that. What a drop kick right there to the head of Triple H. Oh my God, this is how you start. Raw is war. That's all I'm saying. Oh, AM flipping off Triple H. A little attitude right there. What a back elbow from AM. Oh, a kick to the knee. Oh my God, what a spinning back kick to the head. Oh, and AM just flexing like he's Triple H doing Triple H's signature taunt right there. Oh my God. AM looking to take, oh, Triple H countered. Triple H got him. Oh, what a right hand. What a right hand from the game right there. What a start to this this edition of Raw. Oh my God, throwing AM into the damn, uh, the announce table. Oh my, woo, what a chop. Speaking of Ric Flair, oh man. What a chop right there, Triple H. Oh, AM's head, Kink! right off of the damn turnbuckle post. Triple H picking AM back up, whipping him into the barricade now. What is he looking to do right now? Triple H lifting AM up, looking to drop him on his gut. Right on that barricade. Man, oh man, what a start to Raw is War. This arena's dope. Where's Triple H going though? Triple H looking to do some redecorating. He's throwing the damn announce table, 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 the, the announce table top off. He's getting rid of the monitors. Triple H looking to do some serious, wait a minute, oh my God. Simply better knee out of nowhere. Triple H bouncing off the announce table and AM slapping the taste out of Triple H's mouth. 
And now I am just throwing him into the announce table once again. What the hell? Oh, he's flipping H off once more. He's just staring him down. What the hell is AM doing? He's putting him on the announce table right now. Where is AM going right now? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. AM going up to the top rope. He's flying. Oh, my God. Elbow drop off of the turnbuckle through the announce table. Oh my God, and AM yelling right there. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but AM saying that Flair is next. What the hell does that mean? AM walking away. Complete destruction to the game. AM walking up the stage now. Oh my God. What a start to this episode of the career shenanigans, let me tell you. Oh, man, tonight it's looking like game over. And AM is just taunting like he's Flair. Welcome back. Wait, what the hell? Oh, what? Ric Flair is bleeding right now. And AM standing over him. Now he's dropping elbows. I was about to say welcome back to Raw. But, oh, my God, what a start to this week. AM has Flair bloodied up right now. Bloodied up. And now he's throwing him against the limousine. Oh no, what the hell is AM looking to do? AM throwing Flair. He's throwing Flair on the limousine. Oh, what a right hand. Oh no, what, oh, what's AM doing? Oh, AM putting him between the legs. Wait, well, hold up. Oh no, not on the limo. AM pedigree to Flair on the limo. Oh my God. AM is on a rampage. Flair rolling over the limo. Oh, AM getting back on the limo. What the hell is he doing now? Oh, over Ric Flair's bloodied body on the limo. AM taunting. What a wild past two weeks. AM completely destroying Triple H. Putting him through an out in an house table. Elbow drop off of the turnbuckle through the announce table to the outside. Last week, the week after what he did to Triple H, bloodies and batters the nature boy Ric Flair. Pedigree in him on a limousine. AM is not playing games. Usually we would have heard AM speak by now. But I'm guessing that's why he's coming out to the ring right now. A AM went on a rampage. A rampage. AM is pissed off about what happened at SummerSlam, and you can tell it. But AM coming out to the ring right now, he just doesn't give a damn anymore. He hasn't gave a damn for a long, long time. And, and what he did to Ric Flair last week and what he did to Triple H, it's uncalled for. It is uncalled for, but I guess we're about to find out why AM is out here tonight. Wow, man, the past couple of weeks have been wild. What, what, what a wild ride they have been. They have been quick, sudden, and fluid. AM is playing no games at all. And he looks like he's out here to talk. So let's hear what AM has to say. Over the last two weeks, I let my actions do all of the speaking that I needed to do. Triple H thought he was going to come out here two weeks ago and get the championship celebration that he thought he was going to get 15 times, a 15-time world heavyweight champion. Well, Triple H, I'm sorry, but I had to cut that shit short. Now, I know you're sitting at home, and I know you're shining up my World Heavyweight Championship because in due time at Clash of Champions, I will be getting that World Heavyweight Championship back. So Triple H, when you were sitting at home, I hope you've seen exactly what I did to your good friend, the nature boy, Ric Flair. Blood pouring down his face yet again. And on that limousine, it was riding all right when I pedigreed his ass right on the roof of it. Triple H, you have a championship that yet again you did not earn. So at Clash of Champions, I'm throwing this out there right now. My rematch clause is in full effect. And Triple H, we will see who will be the last man standing. That World Heavyweight Championship was stolen from me. 
and at Clash of Champions, I will get it back. This Sunday, it will only be me and you, Triple H, for that World Heavyweight Championship, for my World Heavyweight Championship. I don't gotta worry about a fossil like the Nature Boy Ric Flair sticking his nose back in my business because I put his old ass out for good. And when it's all said and done, Triple H, when the smoke clears and the dust settles and the King of Kings dies at Clash of Champions and I am the last man standing and I am holding that World Heavyweight Championship high, you, just like the entire damn world, will know exactly who is simply better than the rest. And if anybody in the back has any type of issue with that, you can come on out here right now and get a piece of the man that is simply better than the rest because I need a warm up before Clash of Champions. Who is going to answer the call here tonight? What? You have got to be kidding me. That's got to be Kane. His ass is here. We haven't seen him in a millennium. The big red machine is- wait, 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 hold on. Yeah? Yeah? Oh my god. I'm getting word in the headphones right now that Stephanie McMahon sent Kane out here. Now why- why she sent Kane out here? I don't know, it's been a while. It's been a while. You got people like Braun Strowman in the back. You know what? I'm- I'm just here to do commentary. I'm not here to argue with anybody, but we haven't seen Kane in a while. It has been a hot minute, and the big red machine Looks to do damage to AM. Oh man, here we go. AM ready to do battle with Kane right now. It's going down. Oh, AM getting the hell out of Dodge. Kane trying to follow quick. And AM putting the putting the damn burners on, man. I know that the WWE network thing is up on the Titan Tron when entrances are made uh, on this arena. I don't think it's that big of a deal. And with that being said, I think I'm going to stay on this arena because I really like it. And like I said, I want a big change. And uh, yeah, I figured I would address that right away with y'all. I know some of y'all are a little a, a little picky about things. Oh, I am getting the hell out of Dodge again. I know some of y'all are a little picky when it comes to, to things. But um, like I was saying, though, uh, I really like this arena. So moving forward, I'm definitely going to use this. Okay. Oh, oh can't, can't trying to slide in. Kane trying to slide in. Ref move over the referee. What a sling blade. The bait. After me explaining the damn, the, the, the arena. Oh my God. Kane being sent by Stephanie McMahon. Kane looking for something big. Oh, big counter from AM. Oh, what a DDT to Kane. Oh, and AM just flipping off the big red machine. Big forearm. Oh, Kane with a big shot of his own. Oh no, AM. I am trying to get out of dodge. Kane won't let him go. Oh, I am drop kicking the knee. And I am once again. Oh, Kane went for, went, went for a grab right there. Oh, Kane flexing. Kane just keeps running. I am off. The fans here getting really upset about it. I don't know what to tell them. I think it's a good strategy. You got the big red machine. Kane hitting the ring again. I am waiting for him. Oh, with a club. I am rushing Kane. Oh, he slapped. I don't know if that's a smart idea. Slapping the big red machine. He slapped him again. Aim has him. No, Kane dumping him to the outside. Kane on a roll right now. <laughs> no pun intended. But yeah, Kane is, is back. He's out here. Oh, man, what a running STL right there. Kane went for an uppercut. Oh, big counter from AM. AM just trying to stay away from Kane. Damn, but I didn't know Kane was Mr. Fantastic. But okay. Referee at four. Oh, my God. What a spine buster. Kane slit in the throat right there. Oh, no. What is Kane looking for? Kane went for a club right there. I am countering. Oh, what a kick to the face to Kane. What a kick to the face to Kane. The referee. He's at eight. I am kicking Kane down. Nine people are not gonna be, they're not gonna like this, they're gonna be upset. AM wins by count out. Oh my god, that was quick and that was sudden. Look at AM soaring over the referee right there. AM escaping the big red machine. Kane came to fight. But AM using his wits and using the tactics to get 
the job done. I know there's people gonna be upset about that. There's nothing I can do. That's A, that's what AM did. AM did that, okay? And no, I'm not the same guy as AM. I'm a damn commentator, okay? That's all I'm saying. But anyway, look at Kane out there in defeat, man. Hey, AM got the job done by counter. Any means necessary. Especially when Clash of Champions is next, guys. Last man standing between AM and Triple H for the World Heavyweight Championship. Triple H making his return. Man, it's about to be wild. It's about to be bumpy. And who will be the last man standing? Y'all let me know down in the comments below before the big match at Clash of Champions. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I know some of y'all could be a little salty about the count out, but like I said, hey, there's nothing I can do about that. AM thinks for itself, all right? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. But I will catch y'all later. Y'all take it easy, all right? And I'm out.